Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Kodak Duoflex 3. It was made from 1954 to 1957. The whole line, the Duoflex 1 through Roman numeral 4, ran from 1947 to 1960. So that's a pretty good run for a simple little camera. The body is made out of aluminum and bakelite, what Kodak called Kodadur. It's plastic. It has a 75 millimeter Kodet lens. It's a fixed focus meniscus lens. Focuses from about five feet uh, to infinity. Single aperture, about f15. Has a single shutter speed of about uh, one thirtieth of a second. That's the eye setting for instantaneous here. And then it has what's labeled L for long, which is the bulb mode on this. There was another more sophisticated model with a 72 millimeter coated lens. They called it luminized. Had adjustable apertures f8, 11, and 16, and zone focusing from three and a half feet to infinity. I'd like to get my hands on one of those just to compare them. It has double exposure prevention. It's normally winding, advances the film, and cocks the shutter. And if you're cocked over here, um, these tiny little holes by the shutter button, they'll show black if it's cocked and ready, and red if it's not wound. Uh, you can defeat that by pushing in this lever right here, and then it will just cock the shutter without advancing the film. So you can do double exposures if you want to. It uses 620 film. Um, there's not a lot of room in here. The take-up side is really tight and the loading side is pretty tight too. Uh, I've read that people have gotten away with uh, using the supply side with 120 spools. I don't know, maybe a metal one. I tried a plastic one in here. It was too darn tight. It has a really bright viewfinder. Like a lot of these, it has a magnifying lens rather than just uh, uh, ground glass viewing. So that's pretty nice. You could do some through the viewfinder stuff with it if you want. Has a normal uh, red window film counter and rounding out the features. Has a tripod socket. It's a little bit shallow so I stuck on some cork here uh, to adapt it for my tripod. And then on this side it has uh, flash contacts. Somewhere around here I have an old uh, Kodak flash that I haven't uh, sold with another camera. I'm not sure if I have bulbs though. The roll I ran through this, uh, some really nice black and white. I didn't use the flash at all. So anyway, that's about it. It's essentially a box camera with a really nice bright viewing lens. Uh, I got some catching up to do. It's been a while. I got a couple other cameras to do. But I would like to take this guy for another spin. It takes some of the nicer pictures of these old pseudo TLRs. So I'll see you then.